Greetings internet, uh, it's a very exciting day today because uh, I've just got um, the Legendary Kingdoms box uh, from the printer. So this is the first time I've seen the finals. We've seen all kinds of different so like um, uh, variations of prototypes and so forth. But this is the first time I've seen you know, what you guys are getting. Um, and so I'm quite excited. So uh, I, 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 I've half uncut the box already to save time. Which I could have saved by not telling you that I've half uncut the box. Right. Okay. Let's see. So this won't be your packaging, by the way. This is uh, this is the packaging from the factory. So so don't worry about this. So, okay. okay. Oh gosh, it's big. Good lord. When am I going to learn to stop writing? Right. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. So we've got, first of all, here we've got the, the hardback edition of Valley of Bones. Uh, so it's got the, the classic Spider Mind Orange uh, bookmark there, which we did with our previous game. Oh, and this is the new map which was done by our artist, Jamie, uh, who's very clever. Um, you've probably seen this before, but uh, it's lovely to see it on the back. Uh, just sort of looking inside. Yep, so we've got a uh, nice little, uh, this is actually, this is the, the icon of the Ever Child. That's the, 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 this is the, the, the rising sun, which also looks just slightly uh, like an eye as well. Uh, you know, no epic fantasy should be devoid of having an eye. There's the uh, world map, nicely printed, and oh, it's good. It's good. So, those of you, let me find a nice picture. Uh, so, those of you who uh, have played or bought the original version previously, uh, uh, the paper that we used, I mean, it was fine. But um, you can't see through this, which is lovely. You can't see the other side. So before, you know, we, uh, it, it's quite difficult to sort of, before it, it was a little bit transparent. And now, now the, the, the pages are lovely and thick and shiny. It also, it lies open very nicely as well. So even when you're quite early in the page, so if you're doing any fighting and so forth, that, that will just sort of hang open very nicely. So you won't have to um, kind of, Keep it thumbed open. That's all very good. That is the uh, the hardback version of uh, Valley of Bones. Lovely. Um, I might just remove the the cover, just so you can see what it looks like without the cover. Here we go. So this is it without the cover. I think um, uh, Bruce Kennedy, who's our designer, has done a lovely job on that. So again, it's got the uh, the Ever Child's icon on there. It's a nice little description on the back. Oh, it's quite pleasing on the side as well. We were worried that the Spider Mind logo might not come out too well, but it's come out quite nicely. Excellent. Okay, so that's Valley of Bones, and this is uh, Valley of Bones, uh, the softback version, which some of you will be familiar with because you're already. You've already bought it. There's the, the nice back cover. It's done well. Now, from memory, I think the paper is quite similar. Yes, I think the, it's the same paper quality as the uh, the hardback. So once again, there isn't really much transparency, um, which is jolly nice. So that's looking good. That could be Mel's soup burning, but we uh, mm. we won't worry about that. Mm. Um, and then we've got Crown and Tower. So Crown and Tower. It's, it's quite big. Um, it's funny to see it uh, in full size. So this is the hardback version of Crown and Tower. Um, the softback isn't much smaller, honestly. Uh, obviously, just devoid of its massive spine, but you can see it's a, it's a great big book. Um, there's the map uh, on the back to sort of uh, follow your progress, as it were. Uh, just looking very, very fine. Uh, find something 
ice in between. That's not bad, but I want a better one. Let me see. Oh yes, there's um, uh, there's Sir Catherine Bailey there on her horse, uh, looking quite intimidating. Um, yes, good luck if you ever encounter her. Uh, it's the softback. The hardback, um, those of you who have bought this special editions uh, will get this special envelope attached to the back. So this is actually, it's been wrapped in cellophane so that the, um, the extra art bits can be separated. I'm trying to use my finger here to separate it. It's not working very well. I should use a tool like some scissors instead. Let me see. I mean, this is... I'm sure you'll agree the most exciting of all unboxing videos. I might put a, a jazz track over this just to add a little bit of, you know, kind of dignity to the whole scene. envelope aside for the moment. So there is Crown and Tower in its full glory. Um, it's a very special pleasure. Anyone who's ever been a thwarted writer uh, to see your name uh, in print, uh, it's um, it's quite good for the ego. Uh, so that's, that's quite nice. Um, we have the back here and I mean a truly thunderous spine. I mean uh, you know that's a, that's a pretty big spine for a game book I think. Uh, and then uh, on the inside, oh I see, yes I see where you got that from. This of course is the um, uh, the symbol of House Dane, uh, so uh, Sir Jessica's uh, crest. Uh, down here that's a little bit of artwork from the Sonderlane Drops, which is an area of the book um, I did as part of the Kickstarter. You don't, you don't have to go to the Sonderlane Drops ever, but it's an enormous section in Crown and Tower, it's a big optional dungeon you to look in uh, and uh, once again it's the same kind of paper quality we've got the ribbon nice spider mind orange ribbon I'll try not to uh, destroy uh, my book while showing you and yes I mean it's it's all very beautifully laid out very nice anyway anyway oh there we are there's a nice uh, picture of a battle against a, a big uh, gribbly monster. Uh, I was always quite pleased with this battle because it's a it's a nice multi-level affair and uh, it's quite tactically interesting. But you can discover that yourself when you play. Uh, so the last thing uh, will be the special envelope, um, and this is your extra bits that you would have got if you bought the collector's edition. So uh, just going to clear away a little bit. Oh, oh, and lying at the back. Terribly sorry. I should show you this first before I throw away all of this wrapping, of which there's a great deal. Uh, this is truly a very impressive amount of packaging. Um, we've got the Legendary Kingdom's little postcards that we've got here. So uh, here is Salt Dad uh, by Robin Smith, which is uh, kind of, you know, rather rather splendid. Uh, most of you who've played book one will be very very familiar with that image. Uh, so this is a collection of both. So um, this is uh, Sar Jessica against the spiders. You can just about make out the other child in the corner there. Um, the pack is blank just so that you, you, you know. Um, these are the Sonderlane drops of course which is uh, a great multi-level dungeon which you can do in uh, Legendary Kingdoms. Uh, enjoy. Actually, my 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 uh, my playtester has a phobia of the Sondelaine drops, and he's um, trying to play through the book with uh, his family. He keeps encouraging them not to go there. So uh, so yeah. Anyway, uh, this um, is the Tower of uh, Correct Norm the Wise, I believe. Um, it's weird because, of course, I wrote this years ago now. Uh, so. Sometimes hard to remember uh, all the details. And uh, there's Sar Jessica trying to fend off the orcs. She actually does have an army with her. She's not doing it alone. And there is the rather nice picture by uh, Claudio Pilia, um, who's done the front cover for our books. 
Uh, it's come out rather grand, I think. It's kind of got, um, you know, kind of, uh, it kind of captures a slightly kind of uh, English and sort of dour sense. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I like it. I think it's good. I think it's done well. Anyway, uh, so those are just the cards. Um, so I think you get those cards if you are an early backer, basically. So um, if you back in the first 48 hours, you'll, you'll have them. But in the collector's edition, ah, so this is the uh, the thing I've been really, really looking forward to. Um, this is the A3 local map of Crown and Tower. And it's when it's this size that you can sort of like uh, appreciate the details much better. So uh, I was always keen on having a map about this big so that when, when you're playing the game, um, instead of sort of having to constantly look at the back of the book, you can sort of trace uh, your steps. Um, this little cutout of the city here, uh, the city of Longport, uh, I, I wanted that ever since I did, I believe it was book four, um, of the fabled lands where they had um, there's only one big city in it called Yarimura and um, you, you get to see the city divide up into wards and so forth and they did a bit of extra time on it because it was the only city in the in the book there's a similar thing with uh, Longport Bay that although there's lots of castles and kind of villages around there's only one proper city so I thought it needed uh, a little bit of extra time down on it. So you've got uh, the Longport Bay one. Um, this is the Valley of Bones, so it's been given the same treatment. Uh, which has been done rather splendidly by, by Jamie. So this is obviously because it's more sort of barbarian-y, it's more like barbarian parchment. Uh, I'm sure many of you be uh, familiar with this. Um, but uh, yes, this landscape will always have a, um, a place in my heart because it was uh, an important um, sort of D&D campaign that I did in the uh, sort of about sort of 99, 2000 era, you know, back, back when the world was, was black and white and everything was made of wood. Oh, and we've got the world map as well, um, which uh, has been beautifully aged, uh, I can see. Uh, so uh, that must have been uh, Bruce uh, and yeah so here we've got the entire land uh, you know book one there book two there this one's coming up so uh, you know you'll be able to uh, play this uh, the Splintered Isles very very soon book four is over there book five there and book six up there once you've got all six books you can go everywhere on the map um, ah lastly we've got some character sheets so, these, okay, ah, oh, I see, so the double-sided, I was wondering from a what was going on. So, we've got both colour, um, just so it's a little bit easier to see, I'll put them aside. We've got both colour character sheets and black and white character sheets, because I was torn as to what people would prefer and uh, John, because he's got no sense of proportion, uh, said you could have both, um, you know, despite, you know, the splutterings uh, from my tea, um, you know, kind of a, a kind of, you know, <clears throat> sound that you make when someone's spending lots of money. Uh, but yeah, you've got both a colour and a black and white version. Uh, so you'd be able to record all your uh, stats on here. They're double sided. So on the other side, you've also got your fleet list and your armies uh, and so forth. So, uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, the relevant codes. There's two of them specifically because this one has got the codes for book one. And this one has the codes for book two, which if my camera is really, really detailed, you'll be able to see they're all B's and the other ones are A's. So you've got a choice. If you prefer the cleaner look of black and white, then you can go with black and white. If you prefer colour, you can do colour. Um, if you wanted half and half, I guess you could like, you know, stick you know, that to the back. No one's going to be doing that. No one's going to be doing that. No one's shaking her head. Don't do that. That's everything. That's, uh, that's, that's all we've got. Um, it's lovely to see 
uh, and are a little bit emotional to see it. Uh, I, 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 hopefully this is never put up and it remains, you know, somewhere in a distant archive or at the very least it's edited to an inch of its life. A, a, just a quick addendum. Um, hiding at the back of the envelope, um, there was also uh, Robin Smith's unique piece of artwork, which you're promised, I think, for the collector's edition. Um, and uh, here it is, and this is the entire gang put together. Um, and this is a very, very rare uh, Robin Smith colour artwork. He doesn't do many, so we feel very privileged. Um, and yeah, there they all are, and uh, it's rather lovely. So just that, you know, you'll get that as well. But don't do what I do. I almost did and throw away the envelope um, uh, because obviously when it's face down against the envelope it looks very similar colour so um, it isn't there just you might have to dig around a bit. Anyway enjoy. Um, but if not um, thank you for joining me on this unboxing and uh, you should be getting these uh, very soon now because um, they're done at last. <laughs>